Well, hello there, gamers. There's been some stuff happening yesterday in the game. We got some news. We had uh, game instability compensation, which is 200 dragon crystals. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so, funny part. Funny part. Hey, actually, I have a bunch of unclaimed uh, anniversary rewards. Let's get them all. Let's get them all. Another hundred. All right. Let's open packs. Come on. Three packs to open, too. Holy crap. What is happening, Mortal Kombat? We're getting compensations now for stuff, but the funny part is nothing really changed. Okay, let me show you something. So as you know, yesterday we had uh, a surprise maintenance out of nowhere. They didn't announce it beforehand. They just did it. Uh, this is what they said. Thank you for your support during our anniversary update. We are aware of the current instability of the game and apologize for the frustrations it has caused. Please plan for server maintenance today so we can get back to a stable state. Okay. Considering the recent issues, the anniversary rewards will be extended through the end of April. That's huge, by the way. Fatal Black Dragon Tower will be extended by one week, as well as the community challenge, and all players will receive additional compensation. Like, sounds good. Th this is what we wanted. This whole time, for them to finally acknowledge that the game is unstable. It took them... I don't know, months? Was it like a year since we started having the connection issues? And with the latest update, it got even worse? And now... Now they're finally talking about it. When they, they probably saw all the comments everywhere that people are quitting because of all these issues. And they're like, we are on the case. Don't worry, g gamers. We are gonna... We, we are aware. And we're gonna do things to fix it. Well, guess what? I've been playing today uh, after this, and uh, it's hard to tell. I I'm going to tell you one thing is not fixed. I've still been getting connection issues. There is a chance I've been getting a little bit less connection issues, but it could have been just me expecting to get less connection issues. At least it didn't get worse. For me personally, it feels like the game at a certain times of the day, for example, for me, it's in the morning when I wake up and I want to do some, I don't know, crypt run in the morning, or maybe play uh, grind my towers in the morning. It's always the worst in the morning. The game would ask me to restart every couple of minutes. It's ridiculous. So that's why I don't play in the mornings anymore. I play in the evenings, and when it's evening for me, the game works fine for the most part, at least on Android. On iOS, there's always a, at least like the worst thing that I get is profile out of sync issue, which does not cause you to restart the game, which is still annoying. But it's uh, it's less annoying than restart required error. So it feels like like it's a certain time of day, the servers are just not working properly, or maybe there's too many people logging in at the same. I don't know what the issue is, but the point is, they did not. They did not say they fixed anything. They said that uh, this is going to be uh, the planned server maintenance so we can get back to a stable state i don't know is it imp did they imply that this maintenance was going to fix all the issues i don't know maybe it's the first step in their plan to fix all the instabilities because server issues one thing how about game issues i feel like you got to release a new patch to fix whatever connection issues the game itself is having so maybe maybe it's uh, it's like a little bit of a step one in the in the quest to fix uh, stability issues. I can only hope. The compensation seemed to be very nice. I kind of enjoyed it a lot. In fact, I am going to celebrate by opening my uh, casket pack on both of my accounts. Why not? Let's go crazy. I'm not saving. 
I'm not saving Dragon Crystals uh, on my beginner account until I get my diamonds maxed. I, I'm not even sure I'm going to be playing this game by the time it happens. So let's just spend it while we're alive. Okay, this, this better be good. This better be good game. 500, that's pretty good. So I can open another one pretty soon. A couple of weeks. Come on. Give me the new shank. Okay, that one kind of sucked. I, I can get Nightwolf from so many different packs. I did not want to get Nightwolf. Even on my main account, I could get disappointed by Collector Diamond Casket. Oh, boy. Yeah, it could be worse, I guess. Anyway, let's, let's fire up my beginner account. Let's see what's up. 300 Dragon Crystals. That is sexy as hell. Oh, yeah. And I just realized I was already at 400 by my by my whole lonesome, which is pretty nice. So I can almost open the second casket. I mean, a free diamond is a free diamond. Okay, so this is the message, by the way, there was in the game. I forgot to read it last time. Greetings, combatants. We have resolved the issue that was causing an increase in error messages like restart required and data connection required we will continue monitoring the game to ensure the most stable experience for our players <laughs> oh god okay just just listen for a second what they're saying there was an issue that was causing an increase in error and they fixed that issue so now instead of increasing errors we're just gonna have the regular amount of errors which is apparently what was until today. So basically they're saying what was happening until today? That was normal. You you getting issues every 5 minutes is normal. However, when it becomes every 2 minutes, we're going to step in and go back to every 5 minutes. Great quality uh support. Thank you Mortal Kombat. Come on, seriously? Why did it take them so long to even talk about it? I don't understand. People have been complaining for almost a year. And now in April of 2024, we're finally talking about it. Anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna try to look at it from a positive angle. They are talking about it. They finally acknowledge. They finally acknowledge there is an issue. That's all we that's all we ever wanted. To be aware that they are aware. And hopefully now they're monitoring will allow them to actually put an end to this nearly unplayable experience of MQ Mobile. And hopefully we're going to see a patch very soon that will fix the game for good. If that happens, holy crap, MQ Mobile is just going to surge like a phoenix from the ashes. The only thing right now that's holding it back are the glitches and bugs. So if those are fixed, I will I will truly admit that MK Mobile is in the best state it's ever been. All right, enough ch enough chit chat. Let's open the collect. I'm definitely not opening opening gold and rare ones is just a waste. Honestly, I would not recommend. That's just, that's just a complete waste, especially considering they're almost the same price as the diamond and epic. Also with epic gear. Like, it's tough to choose because you you might get a gear that is good, but say, I don't know. I don't, honestly don't know what to choose between characters and gear. To be fair, gear is way cheaper to buy in Crypt Store. For example, epic piece of uh, gear in Crypt Store costs like half of the price of a diamond card. And here the difference is only 50 dragon crystals, so I still feel like opening diamond caskets is the best bang for your money so that's why i'm gonna go and open one right now and watch me get ronin kitana this is finally happening i'm going to open one of these bad boys in my beginner account and that's that's what i've been saying all along i feel like a beginner's just not gonna get proper value of this pack so let's see if i was right or wrong come on shut me up yeah yeah mk11 scarlet that wait i never had mk11 scarlet before that's honestly a shame. Not that she's a bad card. It's just, see, she's so easy to get. How can I... Wait, so I had all of my Scorpions and Sub-Zeros without ever dropping Scarlet? Wow, I'm a savage. 
Oh, that was painful. That was painful. Well, at least I got a free diamond that I'll never use. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Mortal Kombat. Thank you for finally acknowledging that the game has stability issues. And hopefully it's a first step towards completely rectifying the issue and helping Mortal Kombat rise from the ashes before it finally fully burns down. I still, I think there is still hope. And we're making steps in the right direction. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more MK Mobile content. And if you think that we can rise up a, like a phoenix, click that like button. And goodbye. Yeah.